What's up guys today's video is on the top 5 best food choppers. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information, on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices, like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Starting at number 5, we have the Kuhn Rikon Pole Chop Chopper. While most hand choppers require you to push down to chop, this uses a pulling action that spins the blades, like the pole start on a lawnmower, but on a much smaller and easier scale. A non-skid ring on the bottom of the bowl keeps it from slipping, so you just rest a hand on top and pull the handle with the other hand. In testing, we also found that it was easy to hold the chopper at an angle when we needed to encourage small amounts of food to fall into the blades. The spinning blades work like a food processor for chopping foods as coarsely or finely as you like, and in testing it worked much more quickly than expected, whizzing through everything from onions to carrots to tomatoes to mushrooms with ease. The blades are very sharp, so care should be taken when handling them, but a plastic piece on top of the blade assembly provides a place to hold it safely. This holds about two cups, so it's plenty for making a bowl of salsa or prepping onions for a recipe. The lid lifts off easily, so emptying it and reloading with more vegetable as a breeze. The lid is not dishwasher safe, and should not be immersed in water when washing by hand. The bowl and blade are dishwasher safe. Moving on at number 4, we have the Cuisinart DLC-2A Mini Prep Plus Food Processor. This mini food processor won't need dough like a big food processor can, but it will make quick work of chopping everything from apples to nuts to zucchini. It can also blend small amounts of food into purees, or emulsify your salad dressing. We tested it with onions, peppers, carrots, tomatoes, mushrooms, nuts, and garlic, and it worked well with all of them. It also made a smooth tomato puree and a smooth peanut butter. There are buttons to choose either chopping or grinding, spinning the blade to chop through food with the sharp edge or bash with the flat edge. Push a button to pulse or hold it down for continuous chopping. The bowl holds three cups, so it's enough for a batch of salsa or onions for a recipe. The bowl, blade, and lid are dishwasher safe for easy cleaning. A small spatula is included. At number 3, we have the Xylus Zig Zig Classic Food Chopper. The zigzag blade in this chopper performs more cuts per push than choppers with an X blade, and the blade rotates with each push so food is chopped more evenly. Wipers scrape food off the blade with each cut, so you won't have large pieces of food stuck to the blades, although in testing we found that small pieces of wet foods, like garlic, tended to stick to the top. We found that it did well with onions, carrots, mushrooms, and tomatoes, and a little less well with green peppers. The chopper cup is actually two pieces, an inner cup that holds the food, and an outer shroud. If the inner cup is removed, this can be used with just the shroud on a cutting board. The chopper comes apart for cleaning and is dishwasher safe. A cover for the inner cup is included, so prepped food can be stored. At number 2, we have the KitchenAid KFC 3516ER 3.5 Cup Food Chopper. This little chopper has a 3.5 cup bowl that is big enough for serious food prep when a full-sized food processor is too big for the job. It has two speeds and it operates when the top is pressed down at the handle, so it's easy to pulse or to run continuously. The work bowl is tall rather than wide, so in testing it did a good job chopping small amounts of garlic. It also did well chopping onions, nuts, tomatoes, carrots, and mushrooms. It wasn't perfect at chopping green peppers, but it was acceptable for recipes. Besides chopping, we used it to make a tomato puree and peanut butter, and it performed well with those tasks. There's a handy pouring spout for dispensing liquids, and a drizzle hole in the lid that's handy for making emulsified sauces or for slowly adding liquid to purees. A whipping blade is included which stores easily in the mixer bowl so it won't get lost in the gadget drawer. All the parts that contact food are dishwasher safe for easy cleaning. A power cord for charging is included. And finally at number 1, we have the OXO Good Grips Chopper. Great for prepping ahead, this compact chopper has a 3 quarters cup capacity, 
although the chopper cup has measurement marks up one cup so you can measure ingredients without needing a separate measuring cup. Even better, there's a cover for the cup, so foods can be prepped ahead and stored in the same container. A little spoon, spatula hangs on the side of the chopper, so you can use it to scoop out a little of the chopped item or to scrape all of it out and into your pot or bowl. The blades are formed in a wave pattern and rotate for even chopping, while the non-skid base keeps the chopper from wandering around the counter while it's being used. We tested it with a variety of vegetables including onions, tomatoes, mushrooms, and carrots, and it did a good job with them. Like many choppers, it did less well with green peppers, but they were still acceptable for our recipe. When chopping is done, this is easy to disassemble and it's dishwasher safe. Unfortunately, when we tested it and then washed it with dishes with tomato residue, the spoon, spatula and the cap got stained by tomatoes. For folks who like to do a lot of prepping ahead, extra bowls with covers are available for separate purchase. Thanks for watching and that's all for now, I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time.